Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's your girl Angie here, here to do um, the baby tag. I've been saying it, I've been asking them, I've been wanting to do it for a while, but I haven't really got the time to. So I figure while I'm putting my baby to sleep, why not do the baby tag? So let's just get right on into that then. Okay, there are 16 questions. Got your little one, so I'm about to answer them. See Number one, your baby weight and height at birth and at two months. Okay, when she was born, she was um six pounds. Uh, was it six pounds, twelve ounces, twenty one inches? At two months, uh, she didn't gain that much weight at two months. She was, I believe, around like, eight pounds, maybe, seven or eight pounds, somewhere in there. Um, how many newborn diapers sizes Granny like? I like Pampers brand. Um, Yeah, yeah. Okay, where was I? Um, how many newborn diapers? Um, she was in newborn diapers all the way and she, she was about three months. Yeah, pretty long time. So she was in um, newborn diapers to about three months and the brand we use for Pampers. So I'm the, um, a little wine in it. Pretty good. Um, but I, I like Pampers brand right now. A uh, brand I like is Love. But I did originally like Pampers brand. How long in newborn clothes and girl to three clothes? She's in newborn clothes until two months. She was in zero to three. Uh, Around four months, she was out of the hair and three clothing. So she wore it for a pretty long time. What size diapers, what, what size diaper bags would you recommend? What brand? Um, it all depends on what, what you're carrying, what, uh, what you're going to be carrying, but, uh, for the size. I mean, if you feel like you're not really going to be going to too many places, then I would say get a small bag. If you feel like you're going to be all over the place, then you want to get a pretty sturdy bag. Um, the brand I'm using now, I have no idea what brand it is. It's a Walmart brand bag, I guess. That's why I got it. But, uh, it's been pretty good for one of your food friends. I think it's a good I'm not sure. But yeah, that. Do you, did you use your swing? I got a swing late. Um, so when she was a newborn, no, I didn't use her because I didn't have one. I actually got a swing when she was, um, she was around three months when I first got her swing. And she liked it for a while, but she really too much didn't care for it. So, I used it a couple of times. I'll still put her in there every now and then if she likes me, but uh, they come in handy. You know, you gotta put them together. Would you, make, would you recommend buying a play mat? I would, yes. Um, very good source of them to burn some energy out. You know, play, both of their motor skills and all that good stuff. Would you recommend buying a bouncy seat? Yes. Would you recommend buying a bassinet or a pack and play? Yes, for the pack and play, a bassinet. Um, no, just because um, pretty much around after you're much, so you really can't use them anymore. A pack and play, you know, you can use it for all the way from so maybe two years at least. Um, where am I? Did you, did your child use a soother, what brand? She used the hospital brand soother when she was in the hospital, but once we got home, she didn't like them anymore. <laughs> um, 
One must have item. Diapers, of course. Yeah. Any advice for breastfeeding, bottle feeding? If you're going to breastfeed, I would recommend that you pump, um, pump feed, I mean, you know, pump your milk into a bottle and feed the baby and breastfeed because how I messed up is um, I breastfed. I was bottle feeding at first. She was drinking infamil formula and then I would um, feed her like, around nighttime and whatnot. Then I just got lazy and I didn't really feel like um, waking up and making bottles and whatnot. So I just started strictly breastfeeding. Uh, it's a wonderful bond that you have with your child, but at the same time, it does make it a little difficult when. Um, try to offer them a bottle, they won't take anymore. So, I would recommend breastfeeding, but um, pumping. So, yeah, pump it in the bottle and then feed them that way. Uh, what works to calm your baby? Feeding her. Feeding her and rocking with her. She loves being held in my arms. So, that's what comes from her. Almost any time she's sleeping. What was your bedtime routine? My bedtime routine, how I get her ready, um, prepare for bed is I'll um, give her a bath. Um, then I, not every night, then I'll give her a little massage and then put her in my arms and feed her and rock her to sleep. That's my bedtime routine. Um, your hair, I color in your partners and babies. Um, my eyes are dark brown. My hair is um, dark brown as well. Sometimes black, depending on the season. Um, my not my partner, so her dad's eye colors are light brown. His hair is black. My baby's eyes are light brown and her hair is black. Any last advice? My last advice would be take everything one step at a time. There's no need to rush your baby to do things that they're not doing. If you see a, another baby in their age range and they're doing more than your baby's doing, don't try to rush your child into doing something that they're could you see another person doing it? Every child is different and they're going to develop at their own pace. So, on oh, another advice, have Tylenol on hand because you're going to have a lot of sleepless nights and probably you're going to have a few headaches. But that's all part of life, so you have a road to punch it. You can just take it easy and remember to breathe. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. That's it. So that's my baby tag. Everyone, hope you enjoy. I'll be making another video soon. So yeah. Alright. Bye, YouTube.